So in this video we're going to be talking about how the government have bought the wrong satellites. So this, this stems off the fact that we won't have access to the Galileo satellites, um, the, the EU satellite, because of um, Brexit and the we don't want anything to do with the EU because we can do things better than them even though we probably can't because we have an, incomp an incompetent government. But I digress. Um, so um, the government bid for 20% of OneWeb, which is a company to replace Galileo after Brexit, um, looks like nationalism trumping industrial policy. I don't know if that's um, a, a pun about Donald Trump. Um, but yeah, or, and you know, Alex, and maybe, maybe you're a big sly fox there. Um, anyways, so the UK government plan, government's plan to invest hundreds of millions of pounds in a satellite broadband company has been described as nonsensical by experts who say the company doesn't even make the right type of satellite the country needs after Brexit. So the investment in uh, OneWeb, first reported on Thursday night, so this article's from the 26th of June, is intended to mitigate the UK's loss, to, uh, loss of access to the EU's Galileo satellite navigation system. But OneWeb, in which the UK now owns a 20% stake Following the investment, currently operates a completely different type of satellite that um, from that typically used to run navigation systems. So um, I think it's something to do with the orbit of the satellite um, and also the type of satellite as well. So it says the um, fundamental starting point is yes, we brought the wrong satellite, said Dr. Um, Bowen a space policy expert at the University of Leicester. OneWeb is, is working on basically the same idea Elon Musk Starlink, a mega constellation of satellites in low Earth um, orbit which are used to connect people on the ground to the internet, and um, which is not what we need apparently. What happened is that the very talented lobbyists at OneWeb have convinced the government that we can completely redesign some of the satellites to piggyback a navigation payload on it um, it's bolting an unproven technology onto a mega constellation that's designed to do something else. It's a tech and business gamble. And so what has happened is, this is, is you know, when the government wastes money, it's usually either one of two things. It's corruption or it's incompetence. And we've seen a bit of corruption from the government with some of their dealings with giving um, contracts to a uh, rat poisoning firm or um, a pest control firm. I think a chocolate firm and there was a third one but in this case i think they just got duped they got duped by the people at this company so so uh, giles thorne a research um, analyst at jeffrey's agreed the situation nonsensical to me said the situation looks like nationalism trumping solid industrial policy um every major positioning system currently um in use um in use america's gps russia's um glonass china's Beidou and Galileo, the EU project that um, the UK helped design before losing access to it due to Brexit, is in mid uh, medium Earth orbit, Thorne said, approximately 20,000 kilometres from the Earth. One web satellite, 74 of which have been launched, are in low Earth orbit, so 20, uh, 12,000. So you can see the problem is the distance, um, I believe. And uh, Bowen said, if you want to replace GPS for military grade systems where you need encrypted um, secure signals that are precise to centimeters. I'm not sure you can do that on satellites as small as OneWeb's. Um, rather than being selected for the quality of the offering, Thorne suggests the investment the investment was made to suit a nationalist agenda. OneWeb, nominally um, a, bus a UK business uh, with a UK HQ and Spectrum rights registered in the UK through Ofcom. So this is a a UK based firm not an American firm. So let's give the government the benefit of the doubt. If the output of the government wants the UK branded position. Um, branding positioning system, a projection of UK power around the world and supporting the UK satellite industry base, then it's probably um, quicker and cheaper to smash a square peg of OneWeb into the round hole of a Galileo replacement than it is to do from, from scratch. So what, what this person Thorne is saying, it's easier, it, you know, if the UK want to do this for nationalistic reasons, say, oh, you know, we can do it if you can, um, powerful EU, um, then, you know, this was the quickest way to do it. Um, but at the same time, we've only got 20% share. So there's not a lot we can do when it comes to making decisions anyways. Um, and so this guy, uh, Mr. Thorne, being incredibly generous here by giving the government the benefit of the doubt, on Friday evening, a government spokesman said, we have made clear our ambitions for space, um, space, the final frontier, Stardate log, um, 557, we bought the wrong satellites, and uh, developing a new uh, national space strategy to bring long-term strategic and commercial benefits to the UK. We are in regular discussions with the space industry as part of this work because it is the final frontier. Uh, one web filed for bankruptcy in March in the US, where most of its operations are located after failing to secure new funding. Previously, the UK aimed to build its own global navigation system, which independent es um, experts estimated would cost three to four billion pounds. But we didn't have money to feed kids. Um, in December 2018, Theresa May, then Prime Minister, said the UK expected to work with the US and the Five Eyes Partners, a term for the multi 
uh, multilateral intelligence agreement to do so. But in May this year, that project, May the month, of course, not the Prime Minister, this year that project was put on hold uh, just weeks before a feasibility study came um, was due to be published um, and the cost, like Conor McGregor's foot, ballooned to £5 billion. So that is the cost of us. This is a cost of Brexit, which is £5 billion um, because we've decided to go alone and we've decided to go the incompetent route. And so what we can tell from this is that the UK has bought um, has bought a share in a satellite company that doesn't make the satellites we need because lobbyists managed to con, um, you know, Dom... Uh, Dominic Cummings and the gang into believing that this was the right move when it was not and um, I'm I, I am embarrassed um, for the government especially when um, you know you you can do Brexit sensibly I think there is a way you'll always be uh, there'll always be a huge hit from it but there are ways to sensibly do it um, and by us you know trying to go it alone this is why the um, pooling your resources can come in handy for things like this where you can get a satellite that can um, or satellites that can cover the EU right and it's cheaper because you're pooling in your resources with multiple countries rather than each country doing its own individual thing by pulling your resources in um, it's much cheaper and you get a lot more expertise because you can get experts from Italy uh, Germany you know um, Greece um, France wherever but by us doing it on our own we got conned and it's going to cost us um, a ton of money to do it on our own and this is an incredible waste of money especially when the country is going to be on its knees um, basically um, in you know by the end of by the start of next year really and it's just very incompetent from the government and it's shown that this pandemic has shown that the government just don't know what they're doing and this this satellite story um, encompasses cause this isn't corruption this doesn't look like it's corruption what the, what this looks like is incompetence and so the government are going to waste a lot of money doing these sorts of deals to replace existing things we have with the EU. Do you remember the whole ferry thing with um, Grayling, with Grayling, where um, he gave money to a ferry company which doesn't have any ferries, and they took their terms and conditions from a ta uh, from a takeaway uh, website. This this is what will keep happening because they don't know what they're doing, and they're going to get conned by um, clever lobbyists, and um, they're going to they're going to they're going to do a lot of corruption and a lot of money for deals. And that Robert Jenrick story, I will get to that. Um, I just need to get my bearings on that one. And there'll be a lot more Robert Jenricks um, doing corrupt deals and a lot more incompetence done by government ministers. And um, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.